Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. This guy knows the power of palladium. Let's explore. Indeed, palladium has been on fire lately. The prices have skyrocketed, and likely it's because of what you see here imprinted on this bar. This palladium bar that weighs 3,264.3 grams, that's just over a kilo, folks, is made of 99.96 palladium, was made in Russia. And so the situation in Russia has caused palladium to skyrocket even further. It is already going at pretty high prices. There was a brief moment of time where palladium came in line on parity with gold very briefly, but like largely it has been up and been rising and uh, above, far above platinum. And the reason is because palladium is used mostly in gasoline-powered catalytic converter uh, in engines for, you know, for the automobiles in order to sift through the pollutants. That's what catalytic converters do. And so palladium is a metal that is used there. And here's another image of some palladium bars that were made in Russia last year in 2021. Uh, this is an interesting story that was brought to my attention by a spectacular out of Tulsa, Oklahoma from Fox23.com. A guy that was caught in the act. Tulsa police arrested a man accused of stealing a catalytic converter. Now, you've heard me talk about stories like this before. You know, this will go in my Precious Metal Crimes playlist, but this guy was not too smart. And apparently, he has the scars to prove it, or will. At least right now, he's got some cuts. A little bit of dried, coagulated blood on the face. Looks like he's probably been drugged out. But a man is in custody after Tulsa police say he was caught stealing a catalytic converter. Officers received a call early Sunday morning about a man stealing a catalytic converter in a parking lot. When they arrived at an event center near 14th and South Peoria, they spotted a man under a truck. The suspect, identified as Douglas Barnes, ran away from officers. However, he was blocked off by a fence. When officers caught Barnes, he struggled but was taken into custody. A saw and other tools were found near the truck. Barnes admitted that he was still in the car part. Well, what else is he going to do? He's pretty much caught red-handed. Barnes faces several charges, including resisting arrest, attempted grand larceny, and obstruction. He's being held on a $1,500 bond. <clears throat> so, as far as how much that can be found there, uh, of palladium in these things, well, it's enough to make it worth stealing. And what they do is they take it out and they somehow can get processed and the palladium removed from the converters. Now, there are other metals in there too, but largely it's palladium. Some of them have rhodium. And for the diesel vehicles, it's largely platinum. More than likely, if the price continues to be spread between palladium and platinum, platinum will be retooled and be used for these automobiles. So here's the actual account from the police, the Tulsa police. On March 27th, around 12.30 a.m., officers were called out to Agora Event Center for a call about a man trying to steal a catalytic converter off the parking lot. When officers arrived, they found the suspect, Douglas Barnes, still under the pickup. Barnes quickly wiggled his way out from under the car and tried to run. However, Barnes was thwarted by a chain link fence. More likely, that's probably where it caused some, some of his injuries here, but who knows. Nonetheless, officers caught up with Barnes after a brief tussle. That's what they call it, tussle in Tulsa. Uh, indeed, is that what it is? Is that where this place was? It was a little tussle in Tulsa. And that's it, exactly. And uh, Barnes resisting, he was taken into custody. So, nice choice of words by the Tulsa Police Department. Officers found they saw left under the truck, among with a backpack and additional blades for the saw. So he was came fairly well prepared. He admitted he was intending to cut off the catalytic converter. So Barnes was arrested for attempted grand larceny, obstructing, obstructing, interfering, 
with the police officer and resisting arrest. And this is an arrest, not a conviction, they say there. So there will be a trial, and but he has been caught. The thing is, is stories like this, you know, are only part of the story because there is a lot that goes unprosecuted. Uh, a lot of people get away with this stuff. So keep an eye on your vehicles. Keep them in garages if you can. And because uh, as palladium prices continue to rise, and of course, as I record this video, they're down fairly substantially, but you know, that it's more likely they're going to climb up because palladium is rarer than platinum even. <clears throat> and it will still have uses as a, as a, a, a catalyst. It is more of useful in uh, gasoline vehicles, internal combustion engines. And most of you who are aware, you can get palladium in bar form, but also in coin form from the United States Mint in 2021 was the first year since 2017 that they offered it for sale uh, to the general public. If you want to buy palladium bullion, you can. It's very pricey right now, but there is ways to be able to buy it. Otherwise, each year Congress has mandated the U.S. Mint to create collector versions of these each year with alternating finishes. Those finishes are proof, reverse proof, and uncirculated. Now, I wish they would do an enhanced uncirculated or an enhanced reverse proof. That would be cool if they did that to the Palladium Eagles, but I digress. It's sort of a, aside from this story, but there are ways to be able to accumulate Palladium legally. But you will pay a pretty penny for them. But those pennies aren't really pennies at all. They are cents, and there's no copper in those pennies, save for a very thin coat of plating of copper, zinc. I like palladium. I like this palladium eagle. Palladium is kind of a neat metal, but it's a fringe precious metal. This guy is on the fringe of sanity, uh, but more than likely he was using it to sell for drugs, more than likely, based off of the look in his eyes. But who knows? Crime does pay if you get away with it. For this guy, it didn't pay. Now, there you have it. Interesting story. Thanks again to Spectacular for sharing it with me. This dude may not be the smartest criminal, but he's smart enough to know the value of palladium, that's for sure. And you and I know the value of precious metals, but we obtain it legally and ethically. Therefore, we will continue to press on and preserve our wealth with precious metals or speculate a bit with some of the French precious metals. So let me know what your thoughts are on this story. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate share, comment, and subscribe.